Welcome to Mary Cancos Scenic Reserve, the jewel of the Sunshine Coast. Each year, over 200,000 people from around the world come for a visit, and it's easy to see why. This 55 hectare reserve is one of the last remaining remnants of rainforest that once covered the Blackall Range. It's a living museum, a conservation icon, and without doubt offers the best views of the Glasshouse Mountains. The reserve was gifted to council in 1941 by the Thine sisters, Elizabeth, Mabel and Mary, with the proviso it would only ever be used for the conservation and exhibition of native plants and animals and the views of the Glasshouse Mountains. Fast forward a few decades and the reserve is as special as ever, but now there's a whole lot more to offer. In February 2017, Council opened the doors to a world-class rainforest discovery centre and it's sure to make your visit even more memorable. What Norm and I were aiming to achieve is the connection of the mountains and the rainforest. So in terms of flow through the building, we wanted to keep all of these existing trees, as many as possible, on the site and then start the experience from when you enter into this void space and then that long view into the rainforest. So from that point on, it was about experiencing then the connection of the rainforest come up and around through the building and then this amazing view out to the mountains. Well, the standout feature of the building is that it doesn't stand out. It almost disappears into the landscape and a lot of effort went into achieving that. I love how you can't tell sometimes whether you're in the building or whether you're in the natural environment. The building incorporates sustainable design in a number of ways. It captures all its uh, roof water into its large tanks that then get reused throughout the building and the cafe. Naturally ventilated in most of the areas within the building. It's got an automated louver system that opens up for the volunteers. The whole building was designed to allow everybody, no matter who you were, to have access around the building to the landscape that's immediate around it. Uh, which led to the rainforest experience out to the west, up through the boardwalk. So everyone experiences the same feeling of going up, getting that view towards the mountains, connecting to the rainforest. I love that the lift and the boardwalk open this experience up to everybody, mm. whether you're you know, elderly or whether you're a young kid. The building is incorporated into the natural environment by using a palette of simple materials that are local. I love the fact that the stone is the same stone that's in the Glasshouse Mountains that make up our blade walls. I love the fact that the timber is from local species and that it will weather back and silver to the color of the forest. The community has been involved in this project for, from the get-go, for 12 years I think if you go all the way back. Their input was absolutely crucial the whole way along, every step and I think this building reflects that. It's a very Mullaney building, it's a very Sunshine Coast building. This was a very unique site presenting some huge challenges to the construction team. Damaging the reserve's rare natural features was simply not an option for us. So planning was absolutely essential. We didn't do much clearing so the footprint was quite cramped. The staging of the works needed to be well thought out and the machines had to be small. As well as the usual construction challenges, there were a number of environmental constraints. We set up large barriers around the perimeter to protect the forest and the pond internal to the site. We aimed to restrict the access from the local wildlife and reptiles. However, this proved to be quite difficult and we needed to perform over 200 relocations. This included a lot of snakes. The audience range we were looking at was general public, which is a lot of visitors. So instead of targeting specific age ranges, what we've done is we like to look at the visitor as different learners. Everybody likes to learn different ways. Some people want to touch things, some people want to hear things, some people want to take their time, some people want to delve deep into the information. So we've tried to have a good spread of displays for everybody. The most important take home thing we want people to have is that they understand the awe and wonder of the rainforest and how special this place is and that it's here for them to enjoy and to respect and to look after. Now, especially the kids, just absolutely love the interactive experience because we've got a lot of things for them to look at and see, uh, touch and feel. I, I think we're seen as a real destination now. Um, we have uh, whole family groups visiting and there's something for everyone here. What I love yeah. about volunteering is that I get a real buzz out of helping people to understand the rainforest better because I think with, with rainforest understanding, people, if they know more, they, they are much more willing to conserve. And if we want these places to last in perpetuity for future generations, we really need people to love our forests.